July 19, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and six months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 5-11 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. The Russian anger continues to exhaust itself, having nearly doubled their offensive attempts compared to last week at this time. Kremlin shell use continues to be notably dispersed compared to last year this time. Odessa port took damage to the vegetable oil and grain bins thanks to a dozen combat missiles overnight, injuries but no fatalities reported. Outside Donetsk the recently mobilized were sent in 20 waves into Mariinka and Kresna Rivka. The president of Ireland is currently touring Ukraine. Dnieper line. Shelling continued to be lighter in this area but the Kremlin bombed a historic church with a shard drone also destroying humanitarian supplies. The attack has fatally wounded one. Zaporizhia front. Heavy fighting continues immediately west of the Morkioli. At the town of Malinsa on the Dnieper Valley, south of Kamyansk, the Ukrainians appear to have made entry to some of the residential outskirts below the bluff. East Front, Donetsk. At least 20 different ground assaults were attempted at the cities of Mariinka and Kresnarivka by the Kremlin over the last 36 hours. As of last report, all of them were repelled. Bakhmut area. Ukraine continues to make attacks both north and south of the city over the last 24 hours. After the numerous attempts to attack yesterday, the Russians have so far not been reported as having made further attempts in the last 18 hours. Oskol border front. Fighting here has exposed the advantage of good intelligence and information control. In the first, commanders in certain units will absolutely not allow their lines to surrender, and the second, some units will not have taken enough morale loss to collectively risk overriding their information bubble about how quote fascist unquote the enemy. Heroyum Slava. The largest change in the last week here was north of Kupiansk as the Kremlin threatened with a minor foothold west of the Uskol, north of Kupiansk. At the village of Kamazanivka southwest of Svartov, the Russians appear to have recently made a foothold west of the river. Shelling and artillery duels were heaviest in this region. Northern border. Apparently sporadic shelling continues along these lines with the Kremlin appearing to continue to destroy civilian infrastructure and homes. The outcome of liberation troop infiltrations is unknown. Black Sea. The Russian combat fleet on patrol is currently without ships holding caliber missile capabilities. Ukraine world related. Ireland's president is in Ukraine and has announced Ireland will be donating 5 million euros as a donation to the Ukrainian Red Cross and the UN's Reconstruction Fund. Ireland has agreed to train Ukrainian mine removal teams. Poland exposed a small group of Kremlin spies tasked with derailing trains. Turkey is attempting to temper expectations on any grain shipments. Russia is using random Kremlin internet mouthpieces to recruit for the SMO. Croatia has made the offer Ukraine may use their numerous ports. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.